Hiro Onoda was an Imperial Japanese Army intelligence officer who fought in World War II and was a Japanese holdout who did not surrender at the war's end in August 1945. After the war ended, Onoda spent 29 years hiding in the Philippines until his former commander traveled from Japan to formally relieve him from duty by order of Emperor Shoah in 1974. He held the rank of second lieutenant in the Imperial Japanese Army. He was the second-to-last Japanese soldier to surrender, with Teruo Nakamura surrendering later in 1974. Onoda trained as an intelligence officer in the commando class Futamata of the Nakano School. On 26 December 1944, he was sent to Lubang Island in the Philippines. He was ordered to do all he could to hamper enemy attacks on the island, including destroying the airstrip and the pier at the harbor. Onoda's orders also stated that under no circumstances was he to surrender or take his own life. When he landed on the island, Onoda joined forces with a group of Japanese soldiers who had been sent there previously. The officers in the group outranked Onoda and prevented him from carrying out his assignment, which made it easier for the United States and Philippine Commonwealth forces to take the island when they landed on 28 February 1945. Within a short time of the landing, all but Onoda and three other soldiers had either died or surrendered. Onoda, who had been promoted to lieutenant, ordered the men to take to the hills. Onoda continued his campaign as a Japanese holdout, initially living in the mountains of Lubang Island in the Philippines, with three fellow soldiers. During his stay, Onoda and his companions carried out guerrilla activities and engaged in several shootouts with the local police. The first time they saw a leaflet announcing that Japan had surrendered was in October 1945. Another cell had killed a cow and found a leaflet left behind by islanders which read, The war ended on the 15th of August come down from the mountains. However, they distrusted the leaflet. They concluded that it was Allied propaganda and also believed that they would not have been fired on if the war had indeed been over. Toward the end of 1945, leaflets were dropped by air with a surrender order printed on them from General Tamayuki Yamashita of the 14th Area Army. To the men who had been in hiding for over six months, this leaflet was the only evidence they had that the war was over. Onoda's group studied the leaflet closely to determine whether it was genuine, and decided it was not. One of the four soldiers, Yuichi Akatsu, walked away from the others in September 1949 and surrendered to Philippine forces in March 1950, after six months on his own. This seemed like a security problem to the others and they became even more cautious. In 1952, letters and family pictures were dropped from an aircraft urging them to surrender, but the three soldiers concluded that this was a trick. Shimada was shot in the leg during a shootout with local fishermen in June 1953, after which Onoda nursed him back to health. On the 7th of May 1954, Shimada was killed by a shot fired by a search party looking for the men. Kazuka was killed by two shots fired by local police on the 19th of October 1972 while he and Onoda, as part of their guerrilla activities, were burning rice that had been collected by farmers. Onoda was now alone. On the 20th of February 1974, Onoda met a Japanese man, Norio Suzuki, who was traveling around the world, looking for Lieutenant Onoda, a panda, and the abominable snowman, in that order. Suzuki found Onoda after four days of searching. Onoda described this moment in a 2010 interview, this hippie boy Suzuki came to the island to listen to the feelings of a Japanese soldier. Suzuki asked me why I would not come out. Onoda and Suzuki became friends, but Onoda still refused to surrender, saying that he was waiting for orders from a superior officer. Suzuki returned to Japan with photographs of himself and Onoda as proof of their encounter, and the Japanese government located Onoda's commanding officer, Major Yashimi Tanaguchi, who had long surrendered and since become a bookseller. Tanaguchi went to Lubang Island, and on the 9th of March 1974, he finally met with Onoda and fulfilled a promise he had made back in 1944, whatever happens, we'll come back for you. Taniguchi then issued Onoda the following orders. In accordance with the Imperial Command, the 14th Area Army has ceased all combat activity. In accordance with Military Headquarters Command No. A 2003, the Special Squadron of Staff's Headquarters is relieved of all military duties. Units and individuals under the command of Special Squadron are to cease military activities and operations immediately and place themselves under the command of the nearest superior officer. When no officer can be found, they are to communicate with the American or Philippine forces and follow their directives. Onoda was thus properly relieved of duty, and he surrendered. He turned over his sword, a functioning Arasaka Type 99 rifle, 500 rounds of ammunition and several hand grenades, as well as the dagger his mother had given him in 1944 to kill himself with if he was captured. Only Private Teruo Nakamura, arrested on the 18th of December 1974 in Indonesia, held out longer. Japan's Asahi Shimbun says Onoda died Thursday in a Tokyo hospital where he was being treated for pneumonia. He was 91. The newspaper sums up the story of Onoda's post-war years this way. He was deployed to Lubang Island in the Philippines to fight the Allied forces. In 1945, Onoda came across pamphlets dropped on the island by the U.S. military that said the war had ended. He thought it was a trick by the United States. 
he continued using his guerrilla tactics in the belief that the war was still not over. In 1974, Norio Suzuki, an adventurer who traveled extensively, encountered Onoda on the island. Suzuki explained that the war was long over, but Onoda responded, I will not quit fighting unless there is an order that relieves me of my duty. Onoda returned to Japan in March 1974 after his wartime commander landed on the island and ordered Onoda to lay down his arms. Three other soldiers were with him at the end of the war. One emerged from the jungle in 1950 and the other two died, one in a 1972 clash with local troops. Private Terry Nakamura, a soldier from Taiwan who served in the Japanese army, was found growing crops alone on the Indonesian island of Morotai in December 1974. Mr. Nakamura was repatriated to Taiwan where he died in 1979. As for why he refused to give up for so long, Anoda once had this to say, I am very competitive. During the nearly 30 years Anoda spent on the island, the New York Times says, he and the three others who were with him for some or much of that time evaded American and Filipino search parties and attacked islanders they took to be enemy guerrillas. About 30 inhabitants were killed in skirmishes with the Japanese over the years. Once he was persuaded to give up, Anoda was taken to Manila. Wearing his tattered uniform, presented his sword to President Marcos, who pardoned him for crimes committed while he thought he was at war, the Times says. Anoda spent some of his later years in Brazil, managing a ranch. In 1980, the Asahi Shimbun says, he learned that a youth studying to enter university murdered his parents with a baseball bat in Kanagawa Prefecture. Onoda decided to return to Japan to teach children how to become strong enough to overcome their difficulties. Onoda died of heart failure on the 16th of January 2014 at St. Luke's International Hospital in Tokyo from complications due to pneumonia. Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary and later Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga commented on his death, I still vividly remember that I was reassured of the end of the war when Mr. Onoda returned to Japan and also praised his will to survive.